So I'm from this really little bitty hick town in the Midwest. And uh, it was really hick because we were so hick we actually thought Leave It to Beaver was a documentary. <laughs> we didn't have any black people in our town, so affirmative action was on our ass all the time. So our city council finally put up a billboard of Bryant Gumbel. <laughs> you know, that's a real representative of the hood there. He really makes Barack Obama look like 50 Cent. <laughs> But uh, I did learn some things, you know, like where I'm from, implants are something you get at the dentist. <laughs> if you want to drive by, you order a cheeseburger from a clown's head. <laughs> and strippers and studs, something you get at the hardware store. <laughs> so uh, I had an interesting life too, because like when I came out here, I had a few odd jobs. Like my first great job was answering phones. I got, um, let's see, $3 a minute for the first minute and $1.95 for every minute thereafter. Yeah, um, this one gentleman spent about $1,000 to call up and hear me talk dirty. I earned every cent of it too because I hate talking to my dad. So I have cats. I have three very beautiful Persian cats. These cats are awesome when they wake me up in the morning. My friend, my friend, meow mix, my friend. <laughs> awesome. They are so beautiful, they have such long, beautiful hair. Well, the girls do. The boy is bald, it's all in his back. I caught him behind the couch a couple weeks ago trying to glue a fur ball on his head. <laughs> Probably would have worked too, except for the gold chain. <laughs> I think he's turning into a terrorist though. I came home a couple nights ago. He told me he was gonna turn my microwave into a dirty bomb if I didn't give in to his demands. <laughs> but these demands. He wanted a bottle of Cristal, two hot blondes and a VIP booth at Sky Bar. So I come home tonight, he's got a pack of M80s strapped on. Oh, and a $1,000 Victoria's Secret bill. Good night, my name is Pauline. <laughs>